Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're making a video today about the best investments for the upcoming promotion of Black Friday with a lot of panic happening on the market already. I wanna sit down and take an early look at what some of the best buys could be this year in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team as we head into the Black Friday promo. Now, whether you're looking to buy a team or just invest in cards to make profit after Black Friday when the market goes up, we're gonna talk through some things today with gold cards, icons, out of pack specials, and SBC fodder that will help you make some more informed decisions and especially maybe help you formulate a game plan as we head into that time period and how you can make some coins during this time. We also know, or we obviously know that the market is down a lot already. We have a lot of gold cards that are down in price, a lot of very meta items, a lot of out of packs cards are down in price. Uh, and I'm gonna talk about some of these cards today as well as just cover some general investments of things that always go up after Black Friday because one, the biggest thing about Black Friday is so many coins are put onto the game. They're put onto the market from the lightning rounds, from the pack supply and all that sort of stuff. That's one of the biggest things that we do see from the Black Friday time period. So let's head over to Flippin and look at some prices from last year. From last year. I'm gonna start with actually out of packs cards because this is my favorite investment during the Black Friday timeframe is out of packs cards, whether it be specials or informs. I just wanna show you some of the movements that happened last year with some of the cards and how to find cards that you'll be able to make a lot of coins off of this year and why some of these cards went up last year. Now the Scream team last year was very rare. There was not a lot of them that came out of the packs. They came became very rare after they went out of packs. Very similar to the Rule Breaker cards of this year. Big fan of Rule Breakers this year, rising after Black Friday, especially the really meta ones. And we'll talk about some of those cards here in a second. But here's an example of a card that went up after Black Friday. And you can see, you might ask, when's my buy time for some of this stuff, right? The out of packs informs, what you're going to see is a common trend, especially every week this year on Sunday nights, Saturday nights, and Sunday nights for out of pack inform cards. That is like the best time to buy any of those. So depending on what happens, this weekend with the content, uh, we'll have to kind of make that decision then. But as you can see here, Otomendi goes from 219 for the weekend up to 250, back down to 220 on that Sunday, and then it rises a little bit up to 240 throughout the week. And then boom, the Black Friday promotion comes, all the coins get on the market. And a week later, he's all the way up at 300,000 coins on that next weekend league. So if you bought this card at 220 the, the week before, Black Friday, you're chilling, right? You made a lot of coins on that card. You can hold that as an investment or even you could have sold them right here at 270 and made a solid bit of profit and not had to hold as well. So that's what I wanna show you with some of these out of packs cards. Now, which of these out of pack cards do the best? Let's take a look at Insigne here. Insigne went from 835,000 coins the weekend before Black Friday all the way up to 985. So we went up to almost a million coins. Now, why did... Insigne and Otamendi go up the most. These two cards were very, very good, and they were also rare for their position. Insigne was very meta, FIFA 20. Remember, we had all the, the Benetter high agility, high balance with the pace. That was the meta last year, also part of the meta this year. And this guy was a rare card out of packs, kind of on the more expensive range that people could upgrade to in their teams as they got more coins from Black Friday. And then Otamendi, there were not very many special cards that were Premier League center backs last year. And that's why this guy went up so much. Uh, that's a huge rise for a 200K card going from 220 to all the way up to 300K. That's a really, really massive rise <clears throat> on a 200,000 coin card. So we'll talk about in a, in a minute how many, what cards I could see similar to this this year. But just kind of think along those lines, right? A rare card in its position, hyped, meta, and just a card that you commonly see as one of the most popular cards in this game. Those are the cards that get bought up, right? But those are, those are also the cards that get panic sold for some reason. So these two cards were great last year. A lot of the Scream cards went up last year. A lot of out of packs informs went up as well. I looked at um, Antoine Griezmann's left wing, 90 rated inform last year. That was one that went up a lot out of packs. But I do want to talk about some cards that do not go up out of packs. And those are informs and out of pack specials that get into the best of team of the week. And those are cards that they put in packs last year. They've done it for the past two years. Could they do it this year? Yes. Could they also include rule breakers in this? It's a possibility. Instead of best of team of the week, they could do something that's just like best of FIFA 21 and not only put team of the weeks in packs, but they could also put rule breakers and other special cards back in packs, maybe even road to the finals. That would be a bit scary. But uh, for now, we're assuming that it's just going to be 
best of team of the week. But take a look at this. If you have any cars that are considered that are could be possibly getting in best of team of the week, this is the kind of drop off that you can see. Kevin De Bruyne from 640,000 coins in early November drops all the way down. On the date of Black Friday, he drops down to 400k, and after that, he continues to landslide from all the supply that happened. This happened to Ben Yedder's inform last year as well. And just taking a, a quick screen through some of the team of the weeks, what cards would I expect to get in best of team of the week this year? Ben Yedder could get in again, possibly Lewandowski. Um, you know, maybe a guy like Sergio Ramos gets in. They could put in a Kyle Walker, if I'm being completely honest. A Marcus Rashford. Um, if they wanted to throw in rule breakers, maybe Kane, Costa, um, other other informs that could get in. Possibly Benzema. Uh, of course, Messi. And a, this 89 rated Bruno Fernandez could get in the best of team of the week. Now, this team of the week, we have Mane, Kante, Insigne. So there's a lot more higher tier informs that have now been released the past two weeks, honestly, with Messi, Bruno, Mane, Conte, and Insigne, those are all cards that could get in best of team of the week if EA decided to do that again. So what I would expect is those card prices probably dropping until Black Friday, until we figure out if those cards do get in um, best of team of the week or not. But again, out of pack special cards are my number one favorite investment during the Black Friday time period, just because of the lack of supply that they have and people get more coins. So they go out and maybe somebody who was rocking like gold Benjamin Mendy before or like gold Rusillion now pack somebody during Black Friday with their, you know, putting on FIFA points with lightning rounds. And now they can afford a guy like Kamara. So guys that I would look to buy into would be the, the guys that are the most hyped, right? Think about these rule breakers uh, cards that are very rare. Think about cards that are very, very hyped up in price. This Llorente, right? Has been a FIFA favorite since the beginning of the year. He was 356,000 coins. Now I know we had an inform that came out that dropped his price. He went down to 260 after that came out. Now he's down to 210, right? If this guy is like under 200,000 coins or even close to 200K again this weekend, that is like a screaming buy for me. Honestly, all these rule breakers should be good buys. If you wanna get yourself a Harry Kane, I am contributing and kind of comparing this card a lot to this Insignia card from last year is what I would say. They're very similar in terms of rating and just a high tier striker. Insignia went down a little bit right before Black Friday and then boomed up. And this Harry Kane card is like super rare and has super uh, high amount of hype in this game. So that would be a card if you can get him in like 1-1 one, one lows, maybe out of this weekend league sell-off or at some point this weekend, that'd be a great time to get in, in some of that. I'm honestly eyeing Andre and Kamara just because of how many games played these guys have. We do this all the time on the Twitch live stream, right? Link in the description, by the way. We always check to see, we call it a hype check, right? We look at the amount of games played that these cards have. Like this Van Anhol is a very, very popular card. 191,000 games played. There's really not many other special cards that are left backs in the Premier League. Now, this Jimenez, 300,000 games played, is a very hyped up card. This Van Anhol is very rare though. Just look at a lot of these cards. We call it a hype check, right? We look through how many games played they have. Teixeira, 305,000 games played. Marco Royce, how many? 100,000 games played, but he's a very rare card. Di Maria, there's a lack of right wings in this game, 170,000. So looking through a lot of these so far, Jimenez looks like a pretty good investment to me. What about Cuadrado? 259. So looking through these teams and looking and see which cards have the most games played, if you can kind of see how we're looking at that up here in the, on the top, that's where I'm finding that right here. Uh, that's a great way to kind of gauge the hype on an out-of-packs inform card. And you can do this with Team of the Weeks as well. Uh, one guy that I remember flipping last year was inform Ricardo Perea and inform um, Teo Hernandez, outside fullbacks that were very popular in this game. A couple cards that I might keep my eyes on from Team of the Weeks, right? This Team of Week 3 is really rare. Ramos, Partey, Firmino, Walker, if he doesn't get into best of Team of the Week, I'd keep an eye on those. Team of the Week 1, also very rare. Jamie Vardy is a Premier League English striker. Upa Meccano with the, the Bundesliga and French links would be a good one. Of course, Alan St. Maximin, even Teo Hernandez this year. Um, Holland could be a good one as well. So just a lot of these Team of the Week cards are going to be great investments, especially on the mid-tier. Kimmich could be one that would be spectacular. Zaha, five-star skills. Valverde, this is a very OP inform. This guy was over 300,000 coins. He's now down to 250, 260. 
And that would be the sort of investments that I feel the most comfortable in this year. And the out of packs in forms are my favorite. That's why I spent the most time talking about those today. If you're making a pure investment, right? You're just buying a card to watch it go up after Black Friday. Out of packs cards are your number one investment there. And if you're going to add them to your team, that's a bonus, right? You're buying a card, putting it in your team maybe for a week or two, and then selling before we get into footmas and all of that. But that's enough about out of packs in forms. I would also throw Road to the Finals in that same scenario. You can, see, you can see a guy like Conte went up a little bit last year, went down the week before Black Friday, and then of course boomed up that next week with Champions League games happening, and then of course the upgrades happening in, in early December. So keep a close eye on these road to the final cards. If there is panic selling that comes this next weekend, Keep an eye on those as well because these are very hyped up cars. They're up already in price a little bit. Griezmann's up 50K. You, you know these guys are up. Just watch the panic selling this weekend because these guys could be great investments as well. But let's talk about some gold cards and then icons as well and SBC fodder. So last year Mbappe peaked like three weeks before, dropped down, and was his absolute lowest the weekend before Black Friday. Now I talked about this last week. I think Mbappe, as we talked about before, is it a very viable price right now with the just the amount of um, hype that this card has this year? He is very, very overpowered. This guy's down over 150,000 coins. I think he's going to explode after Black Friday. But when is going to be the absolute best time to buy? We've talked about it's so hard to time and so hard to figure out when is the absolute, absolute best time to buy. So I think you're going to spend way too much try time trying to figure that out for either Neymar or Mbappe or any of these really meta cards. You're going to spend way too much time trying to figure out that best time to buy. So this weekend after weekend league sell-off or if there's a lot of panic on Friday, Saturday with Icon SBCs possibly coming out, take a look at these cards, right? Take a look at these guys and it might be a time where you buy these for your team to watch them go up after Black Friday. That's kind of my only gold card investment, honestly, would be like an Mbappe, Neymar, Cristiano Ronaldo, some of the other meta golds, right? Like a, a Paul Pugba. Uh, from last year. So he was down the week before Black Friday, of course, right here. 250,000 coins Xbox, 289 on the PlayStation. And then two weeks later, he's back up to over 300K. The gold cards just don't have the return on the investment that the informs and the out of packs cards and some of the icons do just because they're still in packs and their pack weight is a lot higher than some of those cards. Um, and you have to be careful with cards that are going to get packed a lot that maybe aren't the most hype because check this out Leroy Sane, right? Week before Black Friday, he's 120K. Black Friday comes, he goes back down. He goes all the way down to 100,000 coins, pops up a bit, and then crashes even more into foot miss. But some of these cards that are even 85, 86, 87 rated are just going to get supplied a lot. And if they're not a super duper meta card that a lot of people like to have in their teams, this year I would I would classify like Conte as super meta, Sun, Ratchford for sure, Joe Gomez, Ferlin Mendy, Demo Werner, Mane. You know, if it's somebody who's maybe lower down here on this list, um, you know, maybe like a Griezmann wouldn't bounce that much or a De Young or uh, even like a Gold Aguero wouldn't be a card that I would expect to bounce up that much after Black Friday. I would mostly expect that kind of card to go down. Now, let's talk about a guy like Furlan Mendy for a second. A lot of you guys want this guy or Joe Gomez for your team and you're scared, right? Because they're 83 rated. What's going to happen is so many people want this card for their team. They're really not that packable. There's so many packs open. So it's like, what do you do with any of these cards? In my opinion, what you could do is just manage and watch the sell off again as we head out of this weekend. Um, because for like many, it was a hundred and what? 40,000 coins. He dropped down to a hundred K went back up to 117 and is now down to 109. This is still going to be the best left back in the game. In my opinion, I think if you want to take the safe route, you could wait to buy this card until the lightning rounds on that Friday of Black Friday if you wanted to. That might be a good shout there. Same thing with Joe Gomez, waiting for the lightning rounds on these cards because you might see just a huge amount of supply in the first hour to two hours and then the card going up from there. Uh, I don't think I want to risk it with the pack weight. If you do want to buy beforehand, then weekend league sell out this weekend could work for you as well. But that's just something to consider with some of these really meta cards that are low rated that still have a lot of hype. So just kind of think about that there. That's kind of like the toughest situation out of Black Friday, like those low rated gold cards. Is the supply going to overwhelm the demand? But the demand is so high for those cards and they're still so OP and usable in this game that I still think they're going to maintain their price and they're not going to drop a ton. Now, 
Let's talk about icons really quick as well. I'm gonna talk about Eusebio, right? A really high tier. If you're like a pro player watching this video or you've got gobs of coins, buying some of these icons in the panic this Friday because we're supposed to get, I think, Icon SBCs is the rumor. This Friday could be Icon SBCs. So just watch out if there's any panic on babies, middles, uh, icons that are in packs right now. Keep an eye on that panic and in the weekend league sell off that comes after that this weekend. Because as you can see, a guy like Eusebio was 4.8 million coins. He rose to 5.3 million coins as one of the most meta icons in this game. And then some sneaky ones, right? This is Baby Mateus, right? A lot of people use this guy in like a five back formation and then play him as a midfielder in game. He went from 890 all the way up to 1.1 mil two weeks after Black Friday. So there's a lot of middle and base icons that are going to rise up a bunch. Think about the new icons like Pushkas, like Eto, like Fernando Torres. Now, of course, if we get an icon SBC for one of these, that might kind of change their value a little bit. But just think about some of these cards that are very OP, very meta that people just want to use or try out as a new icon in this game. Those would be some of the ones that I would look at or staple icons, right? Like Baby Desai as an, a French center back icon, 900K. This would be a card that I would keep my eye on as well. If there's any panic selling this next week, this would be the type of guy that I would expect to rebound. Carlos Alberto in there as well. Just the meta icons that are very good value that people like to have in their teams. And one, you think, one thing you can do too, if it's an icon that's been in the game for a while, like let's say mid right card, you're like, yo, I want mid right card for my team. Is this guy going to rise a lot after Black Friday? I would say he's probably going to rise regardless, but is it a lot is your question Go back to last year, right? Go back to uh, to, to Footbin and let's search up Rykard. Let, let's look up Rykard really fast, right? It's a position change. That's one thing about some of these icons that are really good as well. Let's go Generations FIFA 20 88 Rykard and let's see what happened last year because I am kind of curious on this item. So Black Friday starts right about here. He's 675K, the weekend league sell-off before Black Friday. He goes all the way up to 770. So we went up 100,000 coins in a span of two weeks after Black Friday. So that's the kind of stuff that I would look at in terms of the um, icon market. Icons are going to be the cards that really rise the most if you find the right ones that people really want for their teams. Icons, probably some of the rule breakers, some of the road to the finals are really going to boom because people are going to have way more coins and they're going to be okay spending that high amount of value, coin value for guys that are live items that are very expensive on the game. Sissoko would be somebody I would expect to go up a lot after rewards today. You know, you're going to get more of an accurate price and see where he's going to be valued at. Same with Hazard, right? But people will pay for those high tier cards um, in this time period. Last thing I want to talk about is SBC fodder all right so sbc fodder right now before rewards is actually getting panic sold a little bit fodder's down um but i'm not here to talk about that per se i'm here to talk about during the black friday time frame what we had last year on the game is we had a lot of sbcs that came out day one of black friday and with all the pack supply that people were expecting i don't know if you remember this or not but there were two new sbcs that came out on black friday there was a flashback i think it was a flashback Balotelli. And there was a player moments Morales, which is a very good value SBC that a lot of people went out and did. But there was also the base icon repeatable upgrade. And what happened was people stopped doing that upgrade SBC two or three days before because they thought, hey, fodder is going to go cheap during the first couple hours of Black Friday. We're going to buy it up then and go do our SBC then. Well, what happened was people just started buying 85, 86, 87 rated cards because of those new SBCs coming out. There was like double demand and the 85, 86 cards shot up after like at the start of Black Friday when all these packs are coming on the market. 85, 86 is shot up in price. I can show you the graphs from last year um, because people went out to do the, the new Morales, the Balotelli and the Icon SBC, the repeatable base icon. So actually fodder went up. Then it dipped down like a little bit after that because like people who had invested started selling and you know all of that kind of stopped because people realized hey these prices are too inflated and then it went back up into the nighttime so just SBC fodder is honestly going to be a great way to trade on the actual date of black friday so if you're looking in terms of how do you want to make coins like if if you're not buying a team hopefully this video if you're buying a team helps you out like hey i want to buy these cards then again 
A lot of the buy time I'm looking for out of packs cards for icons is going to be this weekend. I know we've already had cards that have dropped really low, but you've seen them rebound a little bit. And that can kind of give you a little bit of sense of security that, hey, if it's rebounded this week, if a card is rebounded this week, that will tell you that it's a very meta card. A lot of people want to use that item in this game. And that should tell you that it should be rising and be a high riser after Black Friday. So that is uh, one kind of nice thing. And if you've seen a card bounce up this week that you can kind of put in the back of your mind. That's why I've been watching some of the rule breakers this week. Like Mertens has been fluctuating from uh, around 500K to like 520. Uh, whoa, what? Is that, huh? Mertens. Wait, what? What am I seeing? Did I just see this with my own eyes? A rule breaker Mertens for 346,000 coins. The dude goes for 500k. Let's freaking go. <laughs> what is that dude? That was literally on the market for like 10 seconds as well. And this is PlayStation 4. Anyways, I'm going to send it to my transfer list and collect my cheeky 200k. There we go. Anyways, boys, watch out for the panic selling this weekend with the sell-off from the good old uh, weekend league sell-off and any panic that we do see with icons that just completely threw me off the tail end of this video boys i'll be honest that sale completely or that snipe completely threw me off there but anyways boys that's what i'm thinking about the best best black friday investments that you can make i love the out of pack special cards because that's what people like to do to buy and to upgrade their teams after black friday and you're going to see rises right away on that friday saturday night so if you do have any questions, drop them down below in the comments. I know that's a lot to absorb in this video. There's going to be more videos kind of zeroing in on maybe some subsectors of this video. We'll look at icons, special cards, gold cards next week after the weekend a little bit, especially on the Saturday night, Sunday night time frame. So stick around for those videos as well. But I wanted to get this one out early to you guys today just to talk about the just kind of the mindset and get your minds ready so that you can prepare for this upcoming weekend where you might see some low prices. So if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel for new. It's been Nate, the foot accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.